somewhere in the world, a kid is finishing parents' evening in a heated discussion with his mother, saying, why does he have to study subjects he'll never ever use in his life? And she will look at him mankind, stifle a sigh, think for a second, and then lie. She'll say something along the lines of, you need to get a good job, you need to get a good degree, these subjects will help you get a good degree. I never had this opportunity when I was younger. <laughs> and he will respond, you were young a long time ago, weren't you? And she will ignore him, although what he implies makes perfect sense that society's needs would have changed since she was 16. But she will ignore him, she will grip his hand more sternly and drag him to the car. What she doesn't know is that she didn't ignore him just to shut him up. She won't lie because she'd spent the last evening convincing stern-based teachers that she'd ensure that her child studies more at home. No. She'll simply lie because she does not know any better herself. Or a lie she has never used, or applied Pythagoras' theorem, and still does not know the value of X. <laughs> she will rely on society to tell her child who has one of the brightest minds in school is hyperactive and bogus, wayward, and easily distracted. Students. How many subjects, dates, and equations did you remember, remember before exam never to use again? How many A grades did you get which were never asked for? How many times did you remember something just five minutes after the examiner said, stop writing, <laughs> only to receive your results a month later and realize that you're one mark short of the required grade? Does that mean remembering something five minutes earlier makes you more qualified for a particular job? Exams are society's method of telling you what you are. But you cannot let society tell you what you are worth. Because this is the same society that looks down on abortion and tells it's wrong to have teenage parents. This is the same society that preaches charity but has people that own private yachts. This is the same society that preaches against greed but rule fat. Parents that say they want educated kids but constantly marvel at how rich Richard Branson is. Governments that preach peace but endorse war and say they believe so much in the importance of higher education, then why increase tuition fees every single year? <laughs> <laughs> test us with tests, but finals are never final because they will never, t they will never prepare us for the biggest test, which is survival. So what I suggest is barely outlandish, and I don't expect everyone to understand this, except for that one kid who knows what it feels like to be worth no more than that A or that D that he gets on results day. Or for the ones whose stories were never good enough for your English teacher because apparently you missed out on key literary techniques, did not follow the class plan, and his language was too informal. But then he referenced Hamlet and Macbeth, and he's asked his teacher whether he was aware that Shakespeare was known as the innovator of slang. <laughs> so this one is for my generation. The ones who find what they're looking for on Google. The ones who follow their dreams on Twitter. <laughs> the ones who picture their future on Instagram and accept destiny on Facebook. This one is for the dropouts and the failures that are self, the unemployed graduates, the cleaners and the shop assistants with bigger dreams, the self-employed entrepreneurs, the world changers, the dream chasers. And for those millionaires who thought they'd found their dreams but actually found nothing. Even though this speech isn't going to initiate worldwide debate, Never mind whether my results are 22 or 88, 33 or 68. I will not let exam results decide my fate. Peace.